And we're back with another episode of Nefashu's Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke Challenge. Oh yeah. Today we're here in Floroma Town, which I still don't know how to spell, so we're going to double check. Okay, that's how you spell it. Okay, I probably spelled it wrong in my previous description. But anyway, we're here. This is a nice soothing place. So we're going to just trample all over these flowers, and then we're going to explore Floroma Town. Uh... Following that, we will have to go northwest because I believe there's some shenanigans going on, but we'll get to that eventually. The first stop is to heal my team because I haven't healed the good old... What's your name? <laughs> Singapore. Oh, man. I'm not with it today, apparently. So we're going to heal. Uh, we're going to chat around. I think maybe you can get some sort of berries here. I feel like I need to start playing the berry game, especially on set mode. I need to take full advantage of the inability to switch. That's a sentence that makes sense. If you've got Pokemon for you, it's safe for even a kid like you to go off traveling alone. Again with this sketchy advice, that seems to be a recurring theme here. There have been problems with the electric power lately. Is there some trouble at the Valley Woodworks? I would explore myself, but you know, that would require effort. Hey, don't ignore me. I had a battle the other day and my Pokemon's HP got low. I thought we were done for, and then all of a sudden, my Pokemon ate the berry I was holding. Yeah, man, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I need berries. I can't believe I'm so excited about berries. I wonder if this person in this house will talk about berries. Some kinds of Pokemon appear only if they're attracted by the sweet scent of honey. Pokemon must have an acute sense of smell, except for the ones with no noses. They can sense the aroma of honey from very far away. I'm trying to remember if honey has any other purpose other than attracting Pokemon in this game. There's no crazy spawn things or horde battles going on. Welcome to Floroma, the town of flowers. Flowers and more flowers! Yes, flowers! You should plant some of your own flowers! Flowers for everyone. Do you know about... I still have no idea how you say this. Gracedia flowers? They're given as bouquets to express feelings of gratitude. It's an enduring tradition around these parts. Okay, what kind of town are you? Vivid and scented. Okay, no energy tagline, no hardcore. I suppose this isn't the kind of place to do such a thing. I wanted to get some flowers from the Floroma Meadow, but some Team Galactic guys in snazzy outfits came along. <laughs> Those Galactic guys went to the meadow past these flowers here. It sounds like I'm crying, but I just have really bad hay fever. <laughs> All right, who's in here? It's someone of a Kofari. Do you think it's cute how Pokemon pluck berries? Oh, I don't know. We'll have to roll a dice to find out. Apparently we do. You agreed! Okay, good. They give us a TM. What would have happened if you said no? <laughs> cool, I guess. Um, hold on. What can learn pluck here? I wonder if Romania can learn pluck, because that would be fantastic. And uh, you can. Oh, man. Um, I see. I don't know. I've been holding off on teaching TMs, but... Maybe I should just do it. Especially because Romania isn't anything else. And then Bullet Seed, I think we can stick on something. What can learn Bullet Seed? It also depends on what teammates I want to keep. Um, it's, I don't know, man. I don't know if Romania actually learns a flying type move anytime soon. And I know that you're going to be useful in the second gym if we keep you around for that long. Um, I think everything else we would save. Except maybe Rock Tomb? Because it's a fairly inaccurate move. And I'm correct. Only Thailand can learn such a thing. Um, well, we will wait. Because there are some captures that I might be obtaining this episode. And we're going to wait to see if I want to use any of them instead. Hey! Hey! Floma Town was a barren, desolate hill long ago. Avoided even by Pokemon. I don't know how you know that. People started planting flowers on it. I've always avoided by people. Because it was such a sad place. But nothing would grow. People didn't know what to do. And then one day... Someone expressed thanks for the blessings of nature. Then the whole hill burst into bloom. I find that story quite far-fetched. I'm not going to lie. I lacks credibility. I got drawn here by the sweet scent of honey. Seriously, what's that? What am I? A Pokemon or something? Well then, I'm sorry to say that you... Apparently there's a book later in the game that delves into a lot of Pokemon history. We'll, we'll see. I simply love it here. The atmosphere is so uplifting. You came to get emotionally healed too, didn't you? It's true, I admit it. This looks like a berry shop. Hello? Yeah, I want an orange berry. 
Woo! That was my ringtone for like three years. <laughs> ringtone, text tone. Uh, so I always associate this with my phone. <laughs> and it's really confusing. Cool, we got some berries. Um, you have to plant them here though. Wait, do we, did we only get one berry for real? Hang on, hold on. So planting them is completely pointless. The berries you pick can be used as food for Pokemon. Or, you know, humans, because they don't eat anything. It's still an issue of mine. Hello? Trainer, please water berries using this spray duck watering can. Cool. Maybe when I go to a gardening store, I should just ask them to give me a watering can for free. A single berry will grow into a plant that makes several berries. By planting one, there will be more and more berries in the world. I hope you had to spread more berries everywhere. Berries and flowers and berries. Guessing you sell something? What is the point of this counter? Hello? Right, I, I have some questions about the customer service provided by this establishment. Hello! Would you like to exchange your berries for some accessories? I sure wouldn't. <laughs> I would, however, like to look for your trash can. Of which there is no, f there, there is no thing. There are no items. That's what I meant to say. We're gonna see what's in here. Probably the exact same items as before. So I'm just gonna talk to these people. I'm gonna dress up my Pokemon with cute accessories and take it to the TV station, which I'm still avoiding. That way, everyone in the region will be able to see my Pokemon. Apparently, it's that simple to be on TV. Who knew? can't buy berries or accessories at Pokemons. It's better for me that way. I won't waste money impulse shopping. Yeah, I, I hear you, random person. What do you sell? Blue mail, heel ball, and netball. Isn't that mostly the same? I feel as though it's not worth my money. Cool. I'm gonna... This, this seems like there should be some sort of item here. And I know... You can get... Can you get back there? Was that... That's just fake. That's not real. <laughs> I'm going to talk to these bozos who seem to be big enough to block this small entrance. Aren't we Team Galactic, man? And we're assigned here, of all places? Standing around amongst flowers. That doesn't seem all that cool, man. Hey now, don't complain, man. This is a pretty decent assignment. We're getting paid just to stand around, smelling flowers all day. I'm down for that. But bug and grass Pokemon creep me out. Hey, I don't know about you. I don't feel like I want to talk to that guy again. Thanks, wrong with grass types. Grass type is best type. So anyway, let's go through here. To route to a five, we can catch something new. Um, you can catch from memory. Well, I'm trying to think what to put out in front first of all. It might be worth putting Singapore. I feel as though Singapore. Yeah, you've got good special defense. I think. Singapore and Senegal are so close to evolving, I need to focus on them, I think. And so I shall. In fact, it's probably actually better to use Peru. Because Peru can resist all sorts of electric and water shenanigans. More berries! Berries for everyone! Just a berry. I hope no one minds. Picking a berry apparently decimates the entire bush. Who knew? I don't know in what order you talk to people. Who is this person? It's some small child. Hello! Help! Help, trainer! Please, I want to see my papa! My papa and I lived at the Valley Windworks, but then a whole bunch of people dressed like spacemen came. They kicked me out, and they're making my papa do something. They're making him prepare breakfast. Please, trainer, I miss my papa. Okay, well, I suppose I have no choice. Such is the need for plot progression. And these guys are just being jerks. We, Team Galactic, are conducting research in the Eterna Forest, man. And it's none of your business what that research entails. This is as far as you go. Our research involves catching Pokemon in the flowery meadows of Floroma, dude. We're also covertly stealing the energy of the Valley Windworks. Well, that's probably something I shouldn't have told you, but that is of no concern to you. Cool. I'm glad they just revealed their entire plan. So, oh, hang on. Route 205. Valley Windworks? It seems as though this is an entirely separate location. So, let's see what we can find. I'm pretty sure we can get Patchy Risu, Buizel, or Shellos in here. Let's find out what we have in store. It's a Shellos at level 9. I love how this Shellos is just sitting there like, duh. Ah, uh, Shellos. Oh, the good thing about Peru is you can paralyze. Excellent. Now, I'm pretty sure Shellos 
are quite good. They know Mud Bomb. Oh yeah. Um, so you should probably weaken this thing. Singapore's probably not the best thing to use if it does have Mud Bomb. Uh, Senegal? Why not? You can do it, buddy. Smash that thing with either your wing or your body. I think we'll go with your body. Okay, that's good. Oh no! Oh yeah! You keep doing that. I'm a-okay with such a thing. Real quick attack your face once again. That's another thing I say all the time. Okay, well, I can immediately see the problems with the Shellos. Uh, but we may as well catch it anyway. In this Pokeball. Come on, buddy. Join us, and together we will conquer the galaxy. Hooray! Well, that worked. <laughs> I don't know what to think of this Shellos now. Um, but what I do need to think of is the name for the Shellos. So, after we read the Dex entry, beware of pushing strongly on its squishy body as it makes a mysterious purple fluid ooze out. You killed him. Blood for cream. Blood for cream. Cool. So I'm going to think of a name and I will be right back. Now I don't claim to be an expert on sea slugs. Uh, but the sea makes me want to go back to Oceana, so I'm going to call you Fiji. I suppose I could have reserved it for a rugby Pokemon, but since Passaman isn't in this game, <laughs> Fiji it is. Cool. Um, now, the burning question is, what use would I possibly get out of Fiji? I think at the moment we'll just stick with what we know. Romania, Senegal and Singapore. Um, I'm really thinking about Pluck. I feel as though it might be better to actually just teach you Pluck. Uh, and if it fails, well then, I don't know. <laughs> but gosh darn it, I want Romania to do something. I believe in you, Romania. Oh, there's an item. A potion. Cool, well, a potion is better than no potion. Don't you dare go in the Valley Windworks. I got order to keep everyone out if they're not part of Team Galactic, man. Give me a look that makes me think you're trying to get in. Okay, then. You'll have to battle me for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did not expect that. I thought you were just going to stand in the way. I mean, some trainers, they just don't give the option to battle. And that is actually the way to do it. Level 13. Um. Hmm. Don't know about that. I think I might have to train soon. But the problem is, I'm trying to use everyone, and so it spreads out the levels. But it's cool, Singapore has the good old Intimidate. Hey! That's my strategy. Okay, well, Singapore, it's time to use Spark. Don't let that small cat growling at you get your guard down. I'm not really sure how that makes any sense. Oh, wow. Okay, um... That's probably because you got growled twice. Uh, well, in times like this, you should probably just chop it. That's what I suggest. I expected a fake out from this thing, but I got no such thing. Oh man. Is this a pacifist cat? I think it may be. Uh, never mind, we're going to use Karate Chop to try and get through. Oh yeah, I completely forgot you had the Quick Claw. I don't even know if that's the best thing to do. Oh, yes. That's what I'm saying, Thailand. Spread the love. Let's spread the love round. Very good. Yeah, like I'm really supposed to win of a Pokemon list. Hey, don't you insult Glamio like that, sir. Isn't that just great? Getting owned by some key in. I can't do a thing if I lock myself into my works key. That's right. The other works key's not here. My cohort's in the flower patch if the only other one. You know, you should probably stop revealing your team's plans. Haha, <laughs> in that sense, I'm no longer the loser. Nah, you still lost. Kerchunk. Did he actually physically say that or not? Okay, well, let's go get that back. Um, I guess we'll keep Romania up in front. Um, and I might actually have to do training this episode. Because, well, you know what? I'm going to explain after I encounter these guys. Because I don't know. I'd like to think I don't have enough time to get it all in before I take these guys on. Well, these guys, they don't look like they're going to be causing much trouble, but we'll see. 
enough arguing. Hand over that sweet, sweet honey. Do as we say, dude. Team Galactic will have that honey. We must have it to attract Pokemon in great numbers. Hey, this kid is a witness. What do we do, dude? We don't need the brat running off to get help. The solution's simple. We ensure the brat stays quiet. And apparently this is done Pokemon battling. As is tradition. Stunky. I'd like to think Romania can take some of these hits. So let's try and use Pluck and see what happens. Oh, okay. Hmm. Come on, Romania. Pluck that fang. Um, right. It might be worth switching to Singapore again. Purely for this Intimidate bonus. I feel as though I am abusing this Intimidate. But, you know, it's part of the game. And as soon as we evolve Senegal, then we'll have two Intimidate bonuses. Uh-oh. Okay, that's fine. We've got nothing to worry about. But this is where a Ghost type would come in handy. That Focus Energy certainly did wonders for you, buddy. Uh-oh. Come on, Singapore. It's got a Hoyt. Oh, man. That was close. Okay. Well, we can just do it again. Aha! You cannot poison me, sir. Well, you totally can, so please stop doing that. Yeah. Do you have Aftermath? The answer is no. I don't even know Stunky can get Aftermath. Defeated Galactic Grunt. This plant could be stuck as a grunt forever. We don't even get our own names, man. What's that about? This is so lame. They're gonna dock my pay. I'm up next. <laughs> Battling you right after my cohort week and you're giving me the edge, man. I'm an edgy guy. Okay, second galactic grunt. In theory, your Pokemon will be weaker, right? Ah, Zubat. I'm well aware of the plight of having a Zubat that doesn't know anything other than Leech Life and Astonish. And mine is faster. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <gasps> I'm astonished that you would use such a move. I'm not actually. Well, I'm kind of surprised they didn't just go for supersonic and hit immediately. Like, it always seems to happen. But that's pretty revisionist of me. Okay. And another Zubat. Uh, well, you may as well stay in there, I guess. I think teaching Romania Pluck was the correct decision. Oh, well, this Zubat knew what he was doing. <laughs> oh man, um, well, this strategy has worked so far, to just endlessly pluck at you. Oh, okay then, I see. I don't know how I feel about that. I think we need to put you in your place, good sir. Alright, there we go. Cool, I'm feeling a whole lot better about Romania now. I felt like that was a necessity. But now I'm committed to using you, that is for sure. I want a promotion, so I could get some tougher Pokemon, man. You know, you gotta work hard for your money and for your promotion. It's Brad's tough, like, super tough, man. It's like he's the game protagonist. Tougher than I could put into words. And I know a lot of words, like... Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, that's a word, right? We're done for here. Let's get back to the Valley Windworks. Oh, and they vanished, mysteriously. Oh, what's this thing? They seem to have forgotten it. It's a works key. How, does it say it on the key? It's one of those, like, company keys where they have the label on the key. It must be for the Valley Windworks. It's of no use to me. You may as well have it. Why are these keys just lying around anyway? How did they get hold of these keys? Thank you. You surely saved me. Those goons were trying to rob me of my sweet, sweet honey. Oh, they sure were weird, though. You saw how they were dressed. What they were saying didn't make a whole lot of sense, either. Oh, I need to thank you. This sweet, sweet honey. Go hunt. Take a whole lot. Take all of it. Okay, cool. Slather that honey on a sweet-smelling tree. It might attract Pokemon. Or, you know, you can eat it because you have no food. Okay, so this is actually a separate encounter. And I don't know whether to utilize this tree for such a thing. It's the only... Because you can get grass back. Can you get grass back there? I don't know, but I know I'm going to forget to come back for this thing, so I'm actually just going to leave it. 
and talk to this small child instead. If you put honey on a tree, check back later to see if it's rustling. If it is, it's quite often a rare Pokemon. It gets my hopes up if I see that happening. Well, I have no patience for that, so that's not happening. The flowers that grow in the fields here are special. Do you see how they're more vivid than flowers elsewhere in Sinnoh? No, you can thank Pokemon for that. Pokemon are superhuman. Well, they're not actually human. In fact, these flowers look kind of the same to me, so... What do I know? I'm just a hiker. I live in mountains. Um, oh right, so... I did say I was going to train, didn't I? Because I know there is something coming up in the Valley Windworks, and it's not just something that can maybe defeat some Pokemon, but it can potentially ruin your Nuzlocke. So yeah... I feel as though I need to do some training. Uh, I don't know where is best to do such a thing, uh, but it might be worth getting everyone to level 15, 16. It's certainly worth evolving, uh, well, as many things as I can, really, uh, which would at least include good old Senegal and Singapore, the two S's. And then as long as we evolve them, then that's like in a double intimidate boost or some shenanigans um, and we'll get everyone else to kind of the same level too hopefully it won't take too long uh, but you know what I'm reckoning that it probably will <laughs> so I'll see you guys whenever I'm done Aw, oh, yeah. It's Senegal's big day. Oh, man. I'm very glad about this. I, I like these turn of events. We get two intimidating cute things in our team. Woohoo! Staravia! Awesome. Very, very, very awesome. I like that. So, yeah, we're in the middle of training. Uh, Senegal, level 14 now. Let's take a look at you. You still got the metronome, I've forgotten about that actually. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I'm rating this. Good speed, good attack, defense is not fantastic. Uh, also, Senegal learned double team, that's something that happened. And Romania learned bite. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm very happy about that too. I don't think anyone else has learned anything, but those are two pretty good things that have happened. Uh, so now we're going to continue training. I'm going to try and get the big players up to level 16 and everyone else at 15. So I want to get Senegal, Singapore and Thailand up to Tonga's level and Peru and Romania. You can get to level 15, that's fine, just in case. I don't know the level of the feared Pokemon of mine that is coming up soon. I don't know what level it's at, so I may be over-preparing, but well, you know what? I know I'm not preparing because I know exactly what's coming up. So we'll see. Anyway, back to training. Yay! Singapore's evolving too! Frabulous, frabulous day! Two evolutions in the same episode. 
Yeah, check you out now, Singapore. Yeah, man. I don't even remember this sprite. But cool. We got ourselves a lynx. A, a big old lynx. It is a lynx, right? I've read somewhere that it was. When trying to decide whether or not it was a fox or not. Clearly, I don't know. Someone will know better than I. Yeah, look at you. All mature and stuff. But you're still as jolly as ever. And you have good attack now. So that's pretty good. And you keep Intimidate. So yeah. So as I said before, I'm going to get Singapore, Senegal and Thailand to level 16. But you guys have heard this before. I'm just going to continue training and I'll see you guys soon. And training is done, Ah, oh, yeah. Now, it's at this point where you might be asking, Nafashu, what's the deal, man? Why are you training to such an extent? Well, my friends, I feel as though I should finally reveal to you, although I'm sure some of you who have played this game before know why I'm doing such a thing. So, coming up, we're about to take on the Valley Windworks, full of Team Galactic goons, and amongst them is Commando Mars. And she has a... I, and I don't know what level this is, which is why I'm just playing it safe and going to level 16. Um, it might even be at level 18, but she has a Perugly in her team, and that thing can be beastly. In fact, I've just remembered that there should be something else to stock up on before I decide to take on the facility. And that is Paralyze Heals, because I don't know if it has Body Slam either. Uh, we'll delve into my strategy soon, although I'm sure some of you might be able to just guess what it is. And I suppose whilst I'm here, let's get some super potions. I'm hoping I don't have to use all these. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. In fact, I'm going to buy four more just for the road, you know. You know how it is. You never know. Um, so yeah, that is in fact why I decided to use Thailand this whole time. I had this perugly in mind. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be interesting But for now um, Actually, I don't know what Pokemon should I lead with to take this facility on just in case Oh, I don't know. I'll decide when I get down there, I suppose um, But yeah, so I don't really know what to use now But I think my bet is to use Singapore Because there's possibly Zubat there I don't know. We'll see. We shall see how this goes. <sighs> okay. Well, I didn't expect to be tackling this this episode, but I guess that's what's happening now. It's locked from inside. Not the inside, just inside. Use the works key. Kerchuk. The door to Valley Windworks opened. Melon. Ah, yeah. <gasps> 
It's this fool. What? No way, man. You have the key? That's totally trippy, dude. This is no time for self-pity. I've got to load the commando. Ah, uh, we'll be fine. I'm sure that will have no negative repercussions at all. Oh, see, she's right there. I thought this was two floors. So I got a pretty. This looks like a pretty big place, but I guess not. Right here we go. The first of the Team Galactic grunts. Boy, this is no fun in games. This is proper work. I tells you. I tells you what. Okay, well these guys are just a warm up for the main event. So I don't know what level you are at. Thirteen. That is fine by me. <laughs> That's perfectly fine by me. You know what to do here, Singapore. Oh, hey, this is your debut whilst being recorded, I guess, not including training, which was still recorded. So I guess that sentence made no sense. I know what I meant to say. Cool. Well, that bodes well. Very good. You didn't even take damage. Tis but a scratch. What? Some bread messed up my job, man. Why? Why would you do that? Team Galactic needs electricity for doing something big. The world's largest Atari console. Oh, I assume. I mean, that's the logical thing to be doing. Collecting electricity from the Valley Wittenbrook sets our mission. Well, yeah, see? Well, he's not denying it, so, you know. Two Pokemans, a Glamio. Okay, only level 11. Perhaps I overleveled, although, again, I have no idea, so I'm playing it safe. And the level limit is 20. Ah, man! The level limit is 22 anyway. Um, so, I think 16 is fine. 22 for the gym. The next gym. Uh, so, if you're wondering how I know that, because I'm not looking up anything about this game other than the level limit, which I basically, I watch, I go to Maryland's YouTube channel, because he did a Platinum Nuzlocke, which I would highly recommend watching. I can't even remember what his restrictions were, but I look at the episode he makes after his gym leader fights, and he has like a layout similar to mine but he has a level limit on his uh, so I take a look at that and then that's it I don't know I'm my teams are only well the teams of the leaders and every important character is only for memory so that's why I'm not sure what level that Mars's Pokemon is at but we'll see I guess now's the time now is the time my friends my, my friend fellow friends becomes friends man my brain I have just done a lot of training. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'm pretty sure Mars has a Zubat. And then a Perugly. Uh, so, my idea is that Singapore just completely decimates the Zubat with Spark. And then when the Perugly comes out, we swap to Senegal, who can intimidate. And then maybe back to Singapore, who can intimidate. And we'll see how many of those we can get off. Um, and it might be that Singapore and Senegal can then deal damage. But... I brought Thailand along to do the damage. Uh, and how? who is best defensively? Tonga is still best defensively, so maybe we'll need Tonga. I don't use you since you destroyed the gym leader single-handedly. <sighs> but I've been putting it off for too long. It is time. It is time to take on Mars, the Galactic Commander. Here we go. Oh, I get to talk to this guy. My Pokemon can't battle anymore. They're gonna take away my Pokemon for messing this one up. Oh yeah, especially if you give them ideas. They're like right there. Just you wait. Our command will smush you. Oh, you're the guy. The guy. Okay. Here we go. Oh man, I'm strangely nervous. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. No, wait, that's, that's one of the four commanders. My name is Mars. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one. But people have shown little understanding about what we do. They just don't understand retro gaming like ourselves. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. You playing your Xbox and your PS3s, PS4s. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, then I guess we can build some alternative to the Atari, we can compromise. A Philips CDI, perhaps. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. Oh man, here we go. Zubat's level 15. So I was perhaps right in training so much. Okay, well, this thing is the easy part. We're just gonna spark and get this thing out of here. And this music is, man, this music is like, you know, you get frisson when you're 
skin gets goosebumps. Okay, well, Singapore, you did as expected. Good job, buddy. That this is the main event. Perugly. Level 17! Uh, okay. Um, so this thing is a beast. Now, here's where I have to put my plan to action. I don't know what attacks this thing knows. Maybe fake out, body slam. Um, I guess, well, I'm going to have to put this strategy in place. There's no other option. So Senegal, we need your intimidate boost, buddy. Come on. We'll spam this till the cows come home. Whatever that sentence means. Fake out. Okay, well that also was to be expected. Oh my goodness, that was... Ah, oh man. Um, that was with the attack down. Okay, and now we go back to Singapore for another Intimidate. But it's just the main thing is wondering how much damage this thing will do with, like, Body Slam. Okay, Scratch. That is fine. Okay, that's actually okay. Um, I don't know if this thing... Can Perugly have Limber? I don't know if I want to use Leer or Spark. I feel like Leer might be the better option here. Okay, and we Leer you in the face. Do you even have Body Slam? Am I just overthinking it? I am not risking it. <laughs> okay. Any any crit ruins everything, by the way. So, it's on an edge, man. You can't prepare for crits. Oh man, they did so much damage. Oh, I did not put berries on. That's a mistake. Um, what do you think you're doing to my Pokemon? It's almost like this is some sort of battle. Yeah, that's a mistake not putting berries. I don't really have any berries anyway. I have one Auron Berry. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to heal you. Just in case. So you have Scratch, Fake Out, Faint Attack, and Something. It's that something that's bugging me. Maybe you don't have Body Slam. Maybe I was overthinking it, but... There is no overthinking in Nuzlocke challenges. Okay, so this would have been a two-hit KO, but um, I had a silly berry. It just felt like pigging out during a battle. Well, I'm feeling a bit better now. Let's see if I'd have gone in. Oh, so close! Come on, man! Come on! I'm just gonna finish you off with another spark. I just have to hope this doesn't crit. <gasps> <laughs> Why did I say that? Why did I say that? Oh my goodness. Uh, don't do that. Ah, oh, Singapore, you did it, buddy. You did it. And Senegal. The double intimidate team. This can't be. I lost, you uppity brat. I will take that insult if it means I beat you in battle. Oops, I messed that one up. <laughs> That's all right, though. I quite enjoyed our battle. And now it's this guy. My, my. Lose to a child, will you? But no matter. We've collected plenty of electricity. With the power we obtained, we can do something quite spectacular. It seems quite obvious to me, Sharon. The genius even the boss recognizes in Atari consoles. Now, Mars, we should get going. Will you shut it? The boss is the only person in the world who's allowed to order me around. You can keep quiet around me. You only joined us recently, noob. Don't think you're important. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Whew. Team Galactic. They were saying they had to gather Pokemon and energy, no matter what. It was creating a new console, or so they claimed. Nothing they said makes any sort of sense to me. I mean, who still plays those things? I can't tell you how grateful I am for you saving me. I can finally see my little daughter again. Papa! Yuck, Papa! You're stinky! Go show her now, stinky! Wow. Why did I adopt you again? Oh, sorry. <laughs> they had me working non-stop. Thank you, trainer. You made the bad people go away. I think the balloon Pokemon will come visiting again. Yes, indeed. Oh, man. I am so glad I did all that training. And it turns out I even used Thailand. But Thailand's been a beast, so I don't regret that in the slightest. But Singapore. Oh, my goodness. You just had to get crit right at the end. Oh, man. And if... I mean, if I hadn't leveled you, that one extra level, that might have been very hazardous. But there we go. It's been done. Uh, just in case... I don't know, let's, let's swap a... 
Romania in front, why not? But yeah, that, that is the episode. That is definitely... Oh, man. I'm so pleased that worked. <gasps> oh, it's this guy. Ah, yes. It, it, is, it is you. I've heard that the Team Galactic appeared at this power plant. I have, therefore, come running. So, the Team Galactic, where are they? Y you have run them off, you say. Y you are a trainer, but, but... Very well. I shall go investigate inside. A bit late on that, buddy. But suit yourself. Can I move? Oh. But magnificent! Yes, yes, it is true! Wait, you didn't believe me? I'm a bit offended by that. What you have said, it is all true. Superb, though, though you are young. You are a trainer from Fru. Very well. I shall pursue the culprits. I have received tips that the Team Galactic hideout is in Eterna City. So there, I must be off. Bye. Oh, man. I'm so happy with how that went. Because, yeah, if you are not prepared for level 17 for ugly, then that could be very, very nasty. But it worked out in the end, thanks to Singapore and Senegal with their dual intimidates. I need to keep these guys around for that reason only. Uh, and they're obviously really hard hitters anyway because they're both evolved Pokemon, so yeah. All good stuff. Things are coming along quite nicely. Everything is coming up the fashion. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Toodles.